If you're having trouble with time management, if you're not getting done everything that you want to get done throughout the day, if you want to be more efficient, if you want to get more done in less time, this is going to be the video for you. What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today. I love talking about this subject, time management because everybody always asks me how I get so much done because I'm a full-time agent. I sell over 100 properties a year for the last five years straight. I'm a single agent with one assistant. I also am building the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world. There's over 11,000 agents within the program, completely free. That's at zerodiamond.com. And there's a link in the description for everything included there. But I'm doing podcasts just about every day. I'm making three to four to five YouTube videos every single week. Um, I'm posting on Instagram daily. I'm answering every single DM that I get on Instagram, which is hundreds every day. And I'm answering every single one of them while I'm juggling negotiating contracts with sellers, getting new listings, going to show property, going to closings, listing appointments, inspections. I'm doing all of this myself and I attribute it to the way that I'm just efficient with my time. To be honest with you, I really don't know exactly how I do get all this stuff done because when I really sit down and look at it, it's kind of crazy. But I do get it done and there is a method to my madness and I want to share with you today exactly how I think that I'm getting all this done and hopefully you can take some of that with you and start applying it into your daily routine, into your daily life and maybe some of it rubs off on you and you can start to be more productive because that's what we all want to be. We all want to be as productive as we can be so that we can produce as much as we can produce so that we can provide for our family and live up to what we feel like is our full potential, right? That's what everybody wants. That's what you want. You want to feel like you've done everything you could do to live up to your full potential. What is your full potential? Everyone's full potential is different. Why? because we all can handle only so much and we all handle different levels of activity and business and life in general. So I refer to how much business or life you can handle as your cup. Everybody has a different size cup, okay? You have to realize how big your specific cup is, how much you can handle, and then to reach full potential, you have to overwhelm yourself with business and life to where it's more than you can handle for just a split second to know where your breaking point is. And then you want to scale back to just at that breaking point and stay right there all the time. That's how you reach your full potential because you're doing all you can do. If there's a gap between how much you can handle and what you're doing and there's a gap right there, then you're not living up to your full potential. And here's the best part of it. When you're at your breaking point all the time, your day-to-day -day does not look like you're really crushing it or you're really getting a lot done or you're really going to be the best, or you're going to be number one or whatever the case may be. But the magic of it is the consistency of it. When you're doing all you can do for so long, for years at a time, it adds up. Every little victory, every little relationship that you create, every little closing, every little thing that you do adds up to be so big over time. And it's the compounding effect that Darren Hardy talks about. It's the slight edge that Jeff Olson talks about. Those are two of my favorite books, by the way, Slight Edge and The Compound Effect, because it is literally why I am talking to you right now. So the first thing I want you to do before we get into time management here is to please click that like button and put a comment below. I don't care if you just say nice video, thanks Ricky, whatever the case may be, all your comments add up to be something huge over time. And it will really help me push these videos out to people that really need to hear my message. There's people from all kinds of industries that come to me and ask me questions and I answer all these questions. It doesn't matter if you're a real estate agent. I'm here to help anyone. 
okay? And people reach out to me and say, how do you get so much done? Why are you chatting with me on Instagram right now? How are you even doing that? Is this even you? <laughs> a lot of people don't even think that it's me DMing them. When somebody says that, I just do a quick, I, I actually call them on video call on Instagram and say, hey, what's up? And they're like, oh my God, it's really you. Because it is. I'm answering every single one of them myself with my thumbs, typing out the messages, and trying to help you with all the knowledge that I've attained up here over the last 20 years in business, I'm just trying to pour it back into you. So when people reach out to me and ask me how I get so much done, um, I start asking them questions about what they have going on and, and why they feel like they aren't living up to their full potential or what they're not, not getting done and so on and so forth. And I'll tell you what it all boils down to. At the end of the day, it, it's not a time management problem, okay? It's a philosophy problem. You're not looking at the situation correctly, okay? There's a couple of things here. There's the fact that all you can do is all you can do, okay? Sure, we can work smarter, not harder, okay? But that's part of adapting, okay? You're always going to be at a certain level, when you work, 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 work really hard and then you realize there's something you should have been doing all that time, that's okay. You can't get this time back. What you have to do is apply that moving forward and now we're working smarter moving forward. We don't need to beat ourselves up about what we didn't do in the past. We need to realize, oh, okay, cool. This is a turning point for me, a fork in the road. I'm going to take this way, the more productive, the smarter way to do this activity and I'm going to go this route. Now we're being more efficient because we're learning these little things. So there's the all you can do is all you can do part of it, which is absolutely true. The cup, you fill your cup up, that's all you can do. From there, we just want to adapt and try to get smarter as we're still putting in as much as we can do. We want to be smarter, try to produce more with the same amount of action because we're putting in as much action as we can put in. Here's the flip side of it. And this is where the real magic is with how I get so much done and how I, how I really manage my time to accomplish what do I accomplish. And it is this. I don't worry about things as much as you worry about things. You are worried about all kinds of things that I think you shouldn't even be thinking about. 95% of the things that you worry about never happen. So you're sitting around spending almost all of your time worried about things that are never going to happen. And it holds you back. It takes up all your time. It takes up all your energy. It fills your cup. You're filling your cup up with worrying about things that will never happen. 95% of those worries never happen, okay? And the 5% of those worries that do happen, you can cross that bridge when you get there. You can not worry about it. If it happens, okay, cool, let's make adjustments and let's, let's fix these problems. But until it happens, it doesn't matter. And chances are it's not going to happen. So most people are sitting around worried about things, worried if they're doing this, worried if they're doing that, instead of just taking action and getting jobs done. Whenever I get through showing property and I go back to the office, I check my emails, I make sure everything's cool there, I make a few calls, I follow up with a few things, now I'm just sitting here. I'm not just going to sit there, I'm immediately going to go to another action. I may pick up my phone and start answering DMs. Let's go ahead and get through these 100 DMs real quick. Take me 15, 20 minutes. Let's, you know, let me, let me schedule, you know, let me see where my schedule is for this or that. Let me follow up with this buyer or that buyer. I'm not sitting around contemplating or worrying about what's going to happen. Same thing when I get listings. I'm not worried about if they're going to sell, when they're going to sell. This is from day one, too. This is when I had zero listings. I was always thinking about the next, the next, the next. Okay, it's always about the next. Whatever you put in place is done. You did that work. I talk about in a past video, the two ways to sell listings, actively and passively. I really love the passively way to do it because that allows me time to get out there and try to create more and do more. I like the actively of going after people with the dual purpose of trying to bring awareness about that listing and create more relationships, okay? So this is another part of time management and getting so much done is realizing the activities that could give you a possibility of different results or even multiple results, okay? Do not think so narrow-mindedly and so laser-focused on you're going to do this activity to get this result done. 
because what I like to do is say, I'm going to do this activity and there could be four or five different results or two or three at the same time. Or so I could get two or three results out of this. They could buy and sell, right? When you're calling on sellers to list a property, most agents are thinking, I'm just trying to get this listing. But what I'm trying to do is trying to create a relationship so that I could see if they want to buy something, see if their neighbor wants to work with me, see if they want to sell and buy. I'm trying to, I keep the options open to where there's a multitude of different results. So everything is dual purpose. So with time management, I do not believe it's a time management issue. We all have the same amount of hours in a day. What I think it is, is that we have to understand that all we can do is all we can do and your cup's not going to be the same size as mine. Yours may be bigger, okay? But you have to learn how big it is, fill it up, keep it full, keep it full with the right things. We don't want to worry about things that are never going to happen. We want to concentrate on the positive things moving forward and we want to always be going after what's next, what's next, what's next, helping everybody in our wake. So I know this video was a little twist on time management, but it's literally how I think about it. Um, I really enjoyed making this video and just sharing this different perspective with you. I hope it really helps you. Um, like I said, do me a favor and click that like button. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what in the world I can do for you, and we'll talk to you soon.